So Jesus responds, Mark, but Jesus said to them, a prophet is not without honor, but in his own country. Matthew says, but Jesus said to them, a prophet is not without honor, save in his own country. So it begins, but Jesus said to them, Mark, but Jesus said to them, so that's both. Still not in Luke. But Jesus said to them, Mark says, a prophet is not without honor. Matthew, a prophet is not without honor. Both. A prophet is not without honor. Mark says, but in his own country. Matthew says, save in his own country. I kind of like the old way of save in his own country. However, Mark is clearer, but in his own country. Could it be confused if it says, but in his own country? It's not without honor. You know, to say, but that, but this, is pretty common. It's, it's, it's used in a few different ways. However, to say, save this is very clear and it's pretty much only ever used to mean accept all this except that i'll go with the normal no oh man i re i'm really leaning towards the old way of saying it save in his own country would that be more difficult to understand Now, I'll just go with a modern, but in his own country. Mark, but. Now back to both in his own country. Matthew just ends with, and in his own house. Mark has another mention, and among his own kindred, and in his own house. So... I'll add that extra verse from Mark and among his own kin, not kindred, and in his own house. This is both. Mark continues, and he could there do no mighty work. Matthew, and he did not many mighty works there because of their unbelief. I have actually heard it said that he was literally incapable at this place. Which would sort of fit to how it's written in Mark. He could do no mighty work, save. Oh, look at that. They use save. Save that he laid his hands upon a few sick. Oh, uh, you know what? I think I'm going to have to go back, change that but in his own country to save in his own country because it's used here. I want to be consistent. Yeah, I'm going to be consistent, so I'll change this but in his own country to save. See, I'm, I'm trying to be accurate, not just go according to my own feelings. There. Save in his own country. Anyway, and he could there do no mighty work. Like I said, I've heard that he was incapable, but I don't believe he was incapable. I think he could have. He just didn't. He didn't really want to. I mean, he did lay his hands upon a few sick and healed them, so he did a mighty work. He just didn't do many. Matthew, he did not many mighty works there. I think that many is the key word. And he could there do no many mighty work or not many mighty works. Because that word is there, I'm going to include it, which pretty much means that I'm going to have to go with the meaning from Matthew. Works. 
instead of just no mighty work. Healing someone is a mighty work. A miraculous healing, that's not common. So, I'm going to go with how it's written in Matthew. And he... And he could. He did not. So instead of could, I'll put did. But and he is both. And he... Now from Matthew only did not many and he did do and he did I'll put there there is also in Matthew did not many works there as opposed to could there do no mighty work yeah I'll, I'll go with the style from Matthew not as opposed to no so I'll say this is only Matthew I want to be clear it's definitely Matthew not many now mighty work mighty work I'll say it's both but the S is only Matthew mighty work and then only for the S and I'll put there is both but I'll put it here because it's the order from Matthew because of their unbelief so that's all from Matthew because of their unbelief and then from Mark, save, save that he laid his hands upon a few sick folk and healed them. And he marveled because of their unbelief, and he went round about the villages teaching. And then it goes on. And began to send forth two by two and gave them power. So this is the empowering and sending them forth, which is just where Matthew begins. Actually, no, that's earlier, isn't it? Yeah, that's the beginning of chapter 10. But that is the next event. So I'm going to finish off with what Mark says. And he marveled because of their unbelief and he went around about the villages teaching another thing is that I didn't realize at the end of the last paragraph in Mark, where it says, he went round about the villages and teaching, that's probably the same. I should combine that sentence with this. And Jesus went about all the cities and villages teaching in their synagogues. Beginning of 35. So, I'm actually going to combine it with the verse from Mark. So I'll just end with, because of their unbelief. Now I begin with Matthew and Mark. And Jesus went about all the cities and villages. Mark, and he went round about the villages, all the cities and villages, the villages teaching. 
So Matthew has more explanation and it names him, but and is both. So going to both and now Matthew only Jesus went about. Mark went roundabout. So went is both. Went. I'll put round from Mark. And about is both. About all the cities and villages. Mark only has the villages. So all is Matthew. The is both. All, both, the, Matthew only for cities and, and then both for villages. Mark just has teaching. Matthew has teaching in the synagogue, so they both are teaching, and then Matthew only in their synagogues and then and preaching the gospel so there's a lot more in Matthew gospel of the kingdom he was moved with compassion as sheep have no shepherd Thank you.